Who among these competitors will be a future champion? This is like peeking into a Christmas present early. I would never peek ahead at my Christmas presents. Well, of course you wouldn't, Saxton. Now let's see who comes out on top of this NXT showcase. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. And pulling the arms up and torturing their opponent. Face buster. <laughs> Wrist clutch applied. And now a series of stomps and kicks. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an awesome. Dishing out a suplex. Getting ready to send one over. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. Face first with a waistlock takedown. And finds a counter. Oh, a spinning heel kick. Quick takedown there. Matt Slam. Lions is wasting no motion. Nikita seizing every opening. You gotta wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we previously thought. <laughs> Battling to stay alive now. <laughs> Stalking a downed opponent in a vicious boot. And another. Sports, but that was used effectively in there. Oh, what a kick! Vicious. Mm -hmm. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. attack. Oh, this could be the end here. Oh, man, by the hair. Hair whip. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Multiple knee strikes. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. Let's look back on the action from the last match.
Nikita Lions. She did what she needed to do and came away with a strong victory. The action we just witnessed was really something else. This is one I won't forget for a long time. Come to congratulate me on a successful show. I was just out back talking to Justine about the success. So program. you didn't see the number one? No, that match practically booked itself. Why? Who won? Who we, we have a problem. Damage control ran in during the match. And at first it looked like maybe a straightforward DQ victory for Becky. But then she got irked and went after them. And technically the bell rang at some point, but with all the fighting that broke out outside the ring, nobody really won. And we still need a challenger for Bianca. If I may make a meager suggestion, Survivor Series is right around the corner. You may just have to step up. No, we still have one Raw left before Survivor Series. Let's do a rematch. Becky versus Bailey. Do you really think the match will go any differently this time around? I do, because as much as it pains me to admit it, you're right about one thing. contender by the end of this match. Will it be Becky Lynch or Bailey? We'll know soon enough. And with Cap as special guest referee, it should be a fair contest. We'll see, Saxton. Maybe the GM wants one over the other. It's nearly impossible not to pick a side. You're such a cynic. I'm a realist. Damage to the shoulder is definitely going to hamper your ability to fight. Oh, man! Leg drop arm breaker! Into the quick cover. Bailey quickly getting the shoulder up. And the referee just doing exactly what she's supposed to do. Consistency with the cadence. Uh-oh. One behind. Back suplex. Bailey's not looking so confident after taking that attack. Yeah, as Becky's trademark brashness continues to serve her well in this one. Devastating elbow. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Face first off the knee. Cover, cover. She was close to the end almost falling victim to a suspiciously quick count. Yeah, not so sure that count was completely by the book. Ah, a blow to the bread basket. That's a free fall. And look at Lynch going to the top rope. From the top. Oh, oh a piercing elbow. Is it enough? kidding me what kind of count was that just god awful officiating now let's take a look back at these ladies in action here is your winner becky lynch 
And the man stands victorious here tonight. You have to give credit to Bailey for giving it her all, but Becky Lynch was just too much. Oh, props to Becky Lynch. When the man comes around to collect, someone's catching a beating. And that was too much for Bailey to endure. something hey you were the one who said I should put my finger on the scale yeah but I thought that and don't get caught part was implied <sighs> guess not I wasn't actively trying to get caught too bad you don't have the chance to course correct the championship match before Survivor Series but maybe I do how? Survivor Series is this weekend. You can't send Becky and Bailey back out there tonight for another rematch. No, but there's another option. As someone said recently, I'm Miss TBD Rebel, not a lawful good rule follower. And Raw is a three hour show. There's an announcement I need to make. All right, Miss TBD Rebel. Whatever you've got up your sleeve, good luck. We've seen the acting Raw general manager in the ring tonight, but this time she has a special announcement. Here's hoping this goes more smoothly than her stint as special guest referee. As GM, I'm not deaf to the concerns of the WWE Universe. Specifically, that my involvement in our number one contender match earlier tonight may have made it look like management was biased towards Becky Lynch. I assure you, my intent as GM is simply to put on the best show for the WWE Universe. And that applies to not just Raw, but Survivor Series. As such, it is my duty to inform you that Bianca Belair will not be defending the Women's World Championship this weekend. Bianca's being pulled from Survivor Series? She will not be defending this weekend because it's clear Bailey and Becky Lynch are not done yet. I just hope they have allies to rally to their side. Eight fighters, two teams of four. War Games! War Games at Survivor Series? I'm not missing this one. Well, we're paid to be there, Saxton. I know, but it's still incredibly exciting. 